Hello everyone, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I am Kishore and I am here to solve a classic Sudoku created by Kinlux. We have featured many of Kinlux Sudokus in the past and uh, most of them have very interesting solve paths and interesting ideas and uh, I thought this would also be uh, of that sort. Uh, this Sudoku is titled Centric and uh, I hope this video is interesting. Uh, this is a live solve. Uh, the link to solve the Sudoku is given in the description of the video. Please do give it a try and come back and watch the video. Uh, the rules are uh, standard classic rules. Each row, each column and 3 by 3 box of the grid will have digits 1 to 9 without any repetitions. And uh, having said that, uh, if you are enjoying the videos that we are posting, please hit the uh, notification button, the bell icon and the subscribe button as well. Uh, it would really motivate us to keep going and keep producing videos on a daily basis. So please subscribe to the channel. So I'll start the Sudoku now. Uh, box 5 looks really juicy. There are 7 givens placed and uh, the digits which are missing are 1 and 2. And column uh, 1 and column 9 or almost filled so let's put some pencil marks there three seven eight five six nine so we need one two and four so I have a two here so this is one four this is one two four and this is not a four so this is one and two and similarly if you look at column nine so I know uh, normally I start by using corner pencil marks but in this Sudoku I'm adopting a slightly different approach so that it's kind of a welcome change uh, because some sometimes it becomes boring boring when we do the same thing again and this sudoku is uh, of the sort where you can start with center marks right away uh, three four five seven eight nine so we would need one two six in this column so let me place those this is not a one okay so where do we go now now perhaps we can uh, make some corner pencil marks three is in column uh, row 4 and row 5 that gives me a 3 in these two cells a 3 in column 8 and 9 gives me 3 here okay let's continue uh, continue uh, looking at the 3's box 2 has 4 options for 3 okay so let's move on uh, 3's don't offer any more information let's go to 8's perhaps 8 goes in one of these two cells and 8 in row 2 row 3 gives me an 8 here and 8 in column 4 and 6 gives me 8 here a pointing pair of 8s and that's all with the 8s I think let's look at the 7s maybe uh, 7 in column 3 has only 2 cells 7 in box 2 has many options 7 in row 6 has only 2 cells so I'm quickly glancing all around the grid to see uh, if 7's can be restricted to any 2 cells okay I don't think so so let, uh, let's move on uh, let's look at 4's perhaps 4 is in one of these 2 cells and 4 is in one of these 2 cells in column 4 okay I think that's about it with the fours four has four options here four has five options here lots of options in other boxes so let's go with a different digit fives the so five in column six is one one of these two cells okay I don't think corners are really helping us uh, I can feel that uh, because these pencil marks the by value candidates and the uh, cells with uh, three options look really ideal to do something but I'm not going there yet just to see if there is something more that we can uh, obtain easily so nines in one of these two cells nines in one of these two cells all by using a uh, simple visual scanning okay so I'm going to uh, revert back to making uh, center candidates I'll switch to corners if I find something uh, because we need to be flexible 
there are lots of juicy areas that we can make some uh, center candidates so look at row 2 uh, we have 4 8 2 3 5 so which means 1 6 7 and 9 are remaining this is a 1 6 and 9 this is a 1 6 and 7 and uh, you have a 6 7 9 here because of this one and this has four options which i'm not going to make now okay so uh, if you look at row 6 these two cells are limited in possibilities can't be 5 6 4 8 and 9 and a 7 so they must be 1 2 3 and of course 2 is not possible here so this is 1 and 3 okay similarly these two cells can't be 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so they are 1 2 and 3 1 is eliminated I feel that this is going somewhere not sure where let's look at row 7 3 6 7 and 9 are givens and look at this cell 4 and 8 are eliminated so this cell can only be 1 2 and 5 okay so i'm seeing a uh, what i would call or what it is actually called i'm not sure about the name so you can see here that if this cell is one then the ones in column one and nine form an x-wing because one gets eliminated from these cells marked in red so in the extreme columns once would form an x-wing pattern right if we have a one here and the same is true for two if you have a two here two gets eliminated from the red cells and the two in extreme columns would be in uh, I mean it, it would go in this cell and again it would go in this cell so it's kind of like depending on what goes here we have an x-wing of either one or two in columns one and two columns one and nine and by x-wing I mean you restrict the possibility of a digit uh, into two rows in this case row uh, uh, 1 and 9 and in the exact same columns column 1 and column 9 and that is what an x-wing is so what it basically does is that it eliminates the one from all these cells all the blue cells because if you have a one for this column in this cell the one in column 9 goes here right and obviously all these cells cannot be one and if the one goes here the one in column nine goes here and again the blue cells cannot be one so i'm not sure how to use this in a really good way but this appears really interesting so how do we know for sure which digit goes in here or do we know, need to know that okay i'm going to look at this again if this is one the one goes here and one goes here okay let me just make some colors maybe uh, let's start with the reds if this is a one the one in column nine goes here and the one in column one goes here right and now just uh, mapping out the ones the one goes here in box uh, eight the one in box 2 goes here the one in box 1 goes here okay and in boxes 4 and 6 we won't be able to resolve the ones but these are the position of ones if this cell were to have a 1 now let's see what happens if this is a 2 let's mark it with yellow if this is 2 then uh, watch closely the 2 in column 1 goes here or just observe where the yellows go the 2 in column 9 goes in here okay uh, the 2's get locked here but don't think it can okay we are unable to continue here right okay awesome so the 2 in uh, box 2 would have to go here beautiful this is really nice 
uh, because the yellow is here and you have a 2 here and you have a 2 here so 2 would have to go here so you can see that if this is 1 this would have to be a 1 because that's what the reds did and similarly if this is 2 the 2 is getting forced here so this cell can only be 1 or a 2 an awesome deduction a deduction that gives a great amount of satisfaction because you can eliminate the 4 from this cell so this is not a 4 so 4 goes here and that gives me a 4 here beautiful this is gorgeous guys uh, due to sca uh, scanning you can place the 4 here and that 4 gives me a 1 here gives me a 2 here beautiful superb that 2 gives me a 6 here what a fantastic break in guys what a fantastic break in so that gives me a 4 here and now uh, in column 9 these would be 1 and 2 so 1 here gives me a 2 here and a 1 here and we can resolve these now so this would be 1 this would be 2 and we know that whatever goes here must be here as we just deduced so 2 goes here so I think it's time to remove these colors fantastic breaking guys awesome really so much fun so one in uh, row six must be in these two cells and we can do some tidying up here one three gets locked in here so that gives us a locked pair this becomes one three and this becomes a two seven okay the two in box four has only one cell has to be here it can't be here and it cannot be in row five and we need 5, 6, 8, 8 in here. So this is 5, 6 and this would be 5, 6, 8. And this one eliminates the 1 here. These would be 5, 6, 9. Okay, 1 gets removed here. So this is a 2, 5. And look at column 4, it's almost dead. The 2 here gives me a 3 in here and a 1 in here. let's finish off this column so this cell is uh, 1 and a 6 this is a 3 and a 6 and this is 1 3 6 as far as row 3 is concerned so let's look at uh, row 4 we have 1 3 8 9 and 2 and 7 so which means these two cells must be 4 5 and 6 okay there seems to be more twist in the tail here the sudoku is not uh, yielding very easily okay 2 can't go in this uh, domino so 2 gets locked in here so that gives us a 2 4 pair and that means this would be 5 8 and which means you can remove the 5 from this cell and that corner of 5 goes in here okay let's look at row 9 this cell is uh, naked single it can't be one two four it cannot be five six eight it cannot be three nine this would be a seven and that pushes the seven in here so this becomes a three nine pair and now just continuing along so this becomes one four eight and this is not a one this is not a four so you can see that the uh, solve is nicely uh, motoring along as soon as we found this deduction which which was really beautiful to see and it was uh, I wouldn't say it was hidden uh, like uh, in a way that it would be really difficult to find it was uh, nice the way uh, it was placed because instantly uh, if you look at columns uh, 1 and 9 with reference to box 5 uh, definitely would be able to get that idea that there is something there now looking at column 6 uh, 2 goes here this would be a 6 and 6 can be placed in box 1 so this becomes a 5 9 pair this is not a 6 okay so this uh, is now 1 3 and 7 3 is removed 7 is removed 1 is removed and uh, we can place 6 in here that's a 6 that's an 8 that 8 gives me a 1 in here a 4 in here a 2 in here a 4 in here and that too resolves this 2 7 pair gorgeous guys simply gorgeous that gives an 8 here so row uh, 8 is done uh, where did my sudoku go so 1 3 so which means this is 1 this is 3 and now 8 can be placed in here uh, 5 can be placed in here this is 5 
that's a 6 that's an 8 so 5 9 can be resolved so this is 5 this is 9 and 3 9 can be resolved so this is 9 this is 3 uh, 1 2 3 7 4 5 8 so we need 6 9 to complete this row and this would be a, a 4 5 pair if I'm not wrong okay let's look at row 2 6 can be eliminated from here so that's a 7 and a 9 so uh, I said at the start that uh, uh, Queen Lux Sudoku's in the past have always some interesting ideas and uh, really uh, cute solves and you can see that this one also had a very interesting idea I really enjoyed the start of the Sudoku okay let's continue this is a 7 so you can place the 9 in here and which means 6 9 can be resolved so that's a 6 that's a 9 oops I'm sorry this would have to be a 6 this would have to be a 9 okay this becomes a 1 7 pair 4 8 9 2 3 5 6 so 1 7 let's look at uh, row 1 the remaining digits are 3 7 and 8 right so I have a 7 here so that's 3 8 so what are we supposed to see here okay 4 5 can be resolved this is a 4 this is a 5 5 8 is resolved 5 and 8 and now this is not 8 8 goes here which means this is 3 7 and you can uh, see that 3 is not possible there so that's a 7 that's a 3 this is a 1 that's a 7 that's a 1 6 and 3 what a beautiful sudoku guys uh, that was a fun solve and I think I uh, yeah it, it is close to 15 minutes and a really enjoyable solve uh, do let us know your thoughts how you found the solve or if you find found any other start uh, other than the one which I did I just mapped the way one and twos uh, were going at the start because it was just uh, spontaneous it just felt natural to continue that way and uh, uh, we got the four in uh, row one column four and that gave us a lot of information a very fun solve i would say uh, thanks for watching do remember to subscribe to the channel we hope to see you soon with the video bye bye